I'm so angry. Look at these worms. They're everywhere. Ooh, how can I get rid of them? What's up, Princess Glimmer? Look at my poor beauties. They're covered with worms. What am I going to do? I've got an idea. What? I could spray the plants and wash away all the worms. Oh, please, spray them. Okay, here goes. Wait, stop! You're ruining them! I'm sorry, Princess. I thought you wanted me to. I did, but... Oh, look at the plants. Now I don't know what to do. Well, you can start by having a bit of patience. Patience? Adora, those worms can ruin my plants. They won't ruin your plants, and they're not worms. But you have to wait a while to find out what they really are. I just don't understand. Trust me, and wait. We have come many miles from the lowlands of Sand Valley. There has been no rain for many months. I'm Adora. Is there anything I can do to help you? Our crops have died, and Baron Condor's soldiers have taken our food. People are starving. We have food here for you. We've got to get some food to the people in Sand Valley. Quickly, have all of our available supplies loaded into wagons. Bo, please see that these people are given food and shelter. Right. Come on, folks. You need some hot soup and a place to rest. Getting it there is going to be a job for She-Ra. She-Ra! The supplies we took from the Lowlanders are almost gone? Yes, Baron Khan. Our soldiers can be fed for only three more days. Then we must make another raid. This famine has weakened my enemies in the Sand Valley. But we can only conquer them if my soldiers have enough to eat. Tell my battle leaders to prepare for action. Have you roped everything together the way I asked, Bo? Yes, but I don't see how Swift Wind can possibly lift. Wait, you'll see. It's the only way to get this food into Sand Valley quickly enough. Up, Swifty! Up! All right, Swifty. Lift! Again, Swifty. You can do it! Swift win. Get the next load ready. I'll be back as soon as I can. Baron, Baron, I have a message. What is it? What news? Outpost 3 reports an approaching Sky Intruder. Sky Intruder? That's not possible. No one in Sand Valley has Sky Ships except us. It's not a Sky Ship, sir. It's She-Ra, and she's bringing a huge load of food and supplies. She-Ra? Bringing food? This may be the chance we've been waiting for. We must trick She-Ra into leaving all the food here at Castle Condor. Find some old ragged clothes and put them on. Look as weak and hungry as possible. Look up ahead, Swifty. That castle. 
Why are they flying white flags? Probably as a signal for help. Let's take a look. Hello! Are you in trouble? Please, help us! We're starving! We're coming down! Thank you, thank you! This food will save our people. Leave it here. We will give it to everyone who's hungry. No thanks are needed. I'm happy to help anyone in need. But some of your people don't seem to have missed many meals lately. Oh, well, well, of course, some show their hunger more than others. I think I'd like to take a small tour of your castle before I leave all the food and supplies here. It's no good. She'll find out that we want the food just for ourselves. Let's grab her. Aha! More well-fed people. But maybe you'd like a fruit snack. Oh, fools! Get up! That looks dangerous. Better cover it up. Blast! The sun ray! Get her with it! I think it's time you gave me an explanation about what's going on here. This is the only explanation you'll get now! Swifty, don't let them get the food! So, this is the mighty She-Ra. <laughs> but not mighty enough to conquer Condor. Throw her in the dungeon. Why, you're She-Ra. You're the most powerful woman in the universe. <laughs> not at the moment, I'm afraid. Who are you? I'm called Small One. Why has Condor imprisoned you? To steal the food I was bringing to the starving people of Sand Valley. But no one, except possibly you, seems to be starving in this castle. Oh, but they are. Only the warriors get all they want to eat. Why is the Baron giving all his food to his soldiers? If the other kingdoms are weak and his is strong, then no one can stop him from conquering the valley. I'll stop him. Will you help me? Me? Help Shira? Oh, yes, I'd like to. But what can I do? I'm very unimportant. No one is unimportant, small one. But everyone has a different path in life. Who knows what yours is? But how can I help you? Well, the first thing I have to do is get free of the beam. Shira, look! If I reached in with my mop to cut it off, you might be able to break the chains. It's worth a try, but be careful. I don't want you to get hurt. All right, here goes. Small one. Small one, are you all right? What's going on here? I'll show you. Well, never mind. I, I don't want to know. Small one? She's alive, but asleep. I don't understand what's happened. I'll have to take her to Light Hope. I hope you're still here, Swift Wind. Swifty, let's make sure no one else is ever locked up in this cell. And now to Light Hope, as fast as you can. So she got away, did she? Through no fault of yours. If Shira comes back and gets in the way of my plans, you'll have something more to worry about. Now! 
Pass the word to my warriors. We go into action in one hour. I came as fast as Swift Wind would carry us. I don't understand why I can't wake her. There's nothing to worry about, Shira. You have come at the right moment. Soon the time will be right. I don't understand. You told Small One that everyone has a different path in life. Yes? It is almost time for Small One's path to change. The metamorphosis of Small One is about to begin. Emerge from your cocoon, Small One. For evil. Those powers are needed now, as are yours, Shira. Baron Condor has begun to attack his neighbors in Sand Valley. Then it's time for us to stop him. Let's go, Flutterina. How long will it take for Condor's forces to get here? An hour, no more. Possibly less time than that for his Sky Warriors. Look, it's Condor's sand wheelers. Good. They're headed directly into the trap. Get ready to give the signal. Right. Those ice blasts are cutting our walls. Stand by. They're almost there. Look out! They're in the trap. I'll give the signal. Send in the Sky Speeders. They'll take care of those fools. Take cover! I'm afraid we're in deep trouble, Bo. It may be best to surrender. I just can't allow my people to be hurt. I know. I was hoping Shira might show up. Look out! Here they come again! Hey! Shira is here. Look! Shira? Oh, no! Maybe you better put this fellow where he won't get into any more trouble. You bet. I'll have a few more for you soon. And by the way, Bo, meet Flutterina. Hi, Bo! Come on, Swifty. Let's grab the Sky Speeders and put the drivers down on the ground where they belong. Great! Let's go! Shira's knocking down anything we put in the air. Set up the sun beamer. Yes, sir. With his sky speeders and his sand wheelers wrecked, there's not much Baron Condor can do. Don't be so sure, Bo. He's fooled us before. Set it for laser. I want those castle walls brought down so my foot soldiers can move in. Switch it on! Even Shira can't fight the power of the sun. It's Condor! 
Condor Sunbeamer. Nothing can stop it. It's strong, all right. When Condor used it as a control beam, I couldn't fight my way through. What are we going to do? In another few minutes, my castle will be destroyed. I've got an idea. Condor Sunbeamer only works in clear sunlight. So we've got to make sure the sun can't be seen. Why don't we start with those clouds over there? Okay, Swift Wind, flap your wings. It's working. Keep pumping. Excellent, excellent. Soon the castle and all of Sand Valley will be mine. Wait, what's happened? Where did that cloud come from? The war is over, and so is the famine, because I'm going to show you how to share Sand Valley with your neighbors. The Green River lies beyond those mountains. Its water can irrigate all of Sand Valley. But, Shira, the river is miles away, and the mountains are in the way. How can we? You'll see. Up, swift wind. <laughs> We could just get the water past those mountains. There, we can channel it through that pass. I'll need a tool. Sword to Digger. It's working. The water's flowing through the ditch. The irrigation trenches will be fed water from the river forever, so the desert land that you share will never again fail to produce crops. How can we ever thank you? By remaining friends for as long as the river runs with water. Will you take Prince Norb's hand in friendship? I could have uh, beaten him if it wasn't for you. No, Baron Condor. Your greed would have beaten you. Sand Valley can grow enough crops to feed your people and Prince Barons, but it can only do so if you work together. If there's enough food for all of us, there's no reason for us to fight. Then from this day forward, let us be friends. And my special gratitude to you, Shira, for seeing something within me that I didn't even know was there. How can I ever thank you? by coming along with me to visit a young lady who still doesn't know that things aren't always what they seem. Your garden is beautiful, Glimmer. Yeah, except for those ugly caterpillars. What caterpillars? There. Oh, no, I I there. Oh, no. Where are they? I don't see anything but butterflies. Butterflies? <gasps> That's why Adora told me to be patient. You're right, Glimmer. The caterpillars had to go into their cocoons before they could become butterflies. Even those little caterpillars have a special path in life, just like Flutterina. So have respect for all of nature's creatures. Sometimes, real beauty is found where we least expect it. It's lucky again! Did you find my hiding place today? If not, try again! Look! See me now? <laughs> Here I am! In today's show, the caterpillars in Glimmer's garden turned into beautiful butterflies. You know, there's an important lesson about people here, especially people who are physically disabled. They may look or act different than you, but 